sitting with yourself, learning about yourself and also who you surround yourself with and what yeah. you surround yourself with. That's a with. big one. That's a really big like one. Like sometimes like I'll be around Taylor and the dude, he's so intentional on all the things he does to where, you know, he'll talk about, I want to be the greatest left tackle to ever play. And I'll sit there. I'm like, it'll kind of like reaffirm me that I should be thinking in ways that are mm -hmm. remind me to think that way again or continue to repeat. Like, don't let this little guy say something or let the, the good one on your shoulder, on the other shoulder, talk to you that way that Taylor's out here talking and being confident all the time. Because this dude is, he's very confident. <laughs> To where it, it rubs good. off, but you rub you rub no, off good, on people. Man. You rub off no. who you're around. Uh, yeah, you never you know what I mean? being You gotta have absolutely. a friend. You yeah. have to have a friend like you that. You have man. to. Like it is. It's who you surround yourself with. Because again, you're gonna be in those times where you're in the gym and you're just talking to yourself. Like you'll go from the best in the world to like maybe I'm losing a step. <laughs> maybe I'm, I'm and a now, water boy. Yeah, and now you know people like are, people old, are reaching out. Like what's going on? When's, yeah. when's my yeah. peak? Like all that. Yeah, and people ask like, hey, you still in shape? Like to play ball? And I'm just thinking to myself, yeah, I'm in fucking phenomenal shape. And I don't know if that's the answer they're wanting to hear but I, I feel that way even mm -hmm. though I'm fucking 29 going on 30 and have been at this peak in my career but I, I know like you can find another peak given the opportunity yeah well and, and it all goes back to reputation right I, I what I realized is the most important thing to me in my entire life was my reputation not exactly what people thought of me but knowing that people looking at me and say man that guy's reliable that guy's a good dude he does he tries to do the right things he loves his family he loves this he loves that and then more the more I realize the older I get the more I realize the, the greatest reputation reputation is the one that I have with myself. So just like what you were talking about, whether it be making the wrong decisions with what you're eating or making the wrong decisions with who you're surrounding yourself with, when you're doing those things that are they're self-loathing without even really knowing it, mm -hmm. you're doing things that you know you're not supposed to be doing. And it goes back to being a good person. When you do something that is outside of having good character, whether you win or lose or gain from that experience, you're losing no matter what because you're actually doing something opposite of what the human soul was created to do. I think we were, right. you know, be, the, the age old debate of our are humans inherently evil or are they inherently good? So it can be debated, right? But I think I think we're all inherently good and we just get corrupted by this outside world or all these external the people factors. that we surround ourselves with. And that's that's always been the most important thing to me, who I surround myself with. Trying to have a, a ridiculously, almost annoyingly confident friend around you. Yeah, yeah, the guy yeah. that you look at and you're like, Gotta gosh dang, dude, I wish I had a quarter <laughs> of that, right? And yeah. like Ben Askren was that for me, man. I mean, the, the dude was undefeated until, you know, just a couple weeks ago for a reason. He was actually one of the most untalented men I've ever been around in my entire life. Like, Jeez, I came in as a freshman. He was a junior. Ben, Mike's taking shots. No, so no, but it's but he's actually no. one of the most shitty <laughs> human kidding. beings I've ever <laughs> been no, no, but I'm saying physically. Like, I mean, yeah. like, you look at the dude and he's actually making a gimmick out of it. He's like, he talks about his dad bod and that kind of stuff. He does not look like a professional athlete competing at the highest level, yet between his ears, I've never met a more confident person. You have to have a person, a couple of those people around you because they're just going to level you up.